Also, listen to this. Come on! What's that saying? Nothing in life is free? Yesterday we spent, uh, we spent basically all day at, at Best Buy trying to get the phone thing fixed with Savannah. Which, in the end, we ended up saving like four or five hundred dollars because we were there all day. A side effect of that is we had to work yesterday and we couldn't work, so now today is just gonna be catch up. The, the free four hundred dollars wasn't actually free. It's all new. During the, uh, during the winter here, they, they close this park down and you can just go in and out like for free. But during the summer, you have to, you have to pay to get in. Up until now, the guard check has been further back. So you could technically still get here and not have to pay. But now they've like moved that whole thing forward. And that's what you saw when we, again, they just got it up in literally like a day. Okay. I gotta get out of here because there's me and another lady down there and I think she's on a conference call like on her laptop. I'm, I'm, I'm talking super, super loud. All that to be said, I'm gonna get out of here. So if you have the newest iPhone, like the iPhone 14 Pro or whatever, then you know about the notch. And up until now, it just kind of sits there and doesn't really do much. But I was on my phone while I was getting that time lapse. United Airlines in the, the left, on the left side has your seat number and the notch. And on the right side, it has a countdown timer, like boarding starts. That's so smart. And I, that's something when I see it online, I get really excited because that's, that's practical. And that means I'm, that's something that I'm actually gonna use. I have no idea how I did this, but I'm having to race back, back home right now because there are a couple of things that have to be done by noon and it is 11.22 right now, so gotta go. See all this mess? All of this is my mess. This is Savannah's side, this is my side, and my stuff is falling off the dresser onto the floor, going into her side. She asked me to uh, to clean this up, and you can count on me, honey. Just have to figure out what's dirty and what's clean. <laughs> wasn't so bad. This is a camera, and this is a camera. These are two different cameras. Now, at a quick glance, you may think that, oh, these are these just do the same exact things and they require the same amount. They are completely different. They could not be further from being similar. <laughs> Now, these both do take pictures, but how you take pictures is completely different. And I didn't know that when I bought this. Now, this is a mirrorless camera or a electronic camera. Same thing as, as this one. I can do video as well as take pictures. And this still takes pictures, doesn't do video, but still takes pictures is a film camera, meaning that it's not digital at all. When I take a picture on this camera, that image gets burned onto this, an SD card, and it is saved electronically as a digital image. I take a picture on this, the image does get saved to something, but not an SD card. It gets saved to a piece of film that's in this camera. I would open it up, but it would ruin the, it would ruin the entire roll that's in here. Now, I mentioned that when I bought this, I, I thought that I knew how to use it, and I had no idea, and I kind of still don't have any idea, because using this is completely different than this. They might as well be, this is might as well be the, the Earth, and this might as well be Jupiter or something else. And now, typically with this camera, you have... Now, with this camera, you have you have three ways to control the, this, this camera. You have ISO, F-stop, 
and shutter speed. When you're taking pictures, what you want to do to control how dark or bright an image is, ISO is going to be the way that you're going to do that. And if you need to control the light even further than what the ISO can do, then you're going to go to shutter speed. The shutter speed is basically just how fast the, the shutter closes, opens and closes, and how much light is let in. Now, for, for this, this camera, it's completely different. The ISO is actually baked into the film, meaning this 200 right here you see, that is the ISO. That that cannot be changed whatsoever. And then you have the f-stop controlled up here. And that's still going to control your depth of field. And lastly, you'll have shutter speed. And the shutter speed is going to be what really controls the, the, the brightness of the image, how light or dark it is. And that is controlled by this, this outer ring right here. So with the digital camera, the biggest way to control light is going to be using the, the ISO. But for the film camera, you can't control the ISO because you buy the can't control it. So the only way to control light really is using a combination of the shutter speed and then the f-stop. Now, all all that to be said, when I when I purchased this, I didn't do any research. I didn't know any of that, and it was I'm gonna I would be lying to say that it wasn't kind of jarring going from something like this to to this. I felt like I was trying to walk again. All that to be said, I I'm learning. This feels like I'm learning photography again with this camera, and it's great. Now, this isn't a this isn't an instructional video on how to actually shoot film. I may do one of those, maybe, or if not, then just just Google that. This is more of me just <laughs> letting you know if you're thinking about getting something like this, know that it's 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 a completely different art form, I would argue, than than this. Also, listen to this. <laughs> Come on! Cheese! Found a spot down here that I figured I would try to get a couple of film pictures. Really test this thing out. took three pictures with this. I'm gonna uh, go a little bit further that way, see if I can find a better vantage point. I wish I could show you these, but it's gonna be a couple weeks before I actually get to see these. But when I do, you'll be the first ones to see them. We'll both be in suspense to see if I got anything or if everything's just out of focus. Location number two. So there's people right over there camping, so I'm gonna tr I'm trying to be quiet. I'm in a campsite, did I mention that? Okay, I got uh, I got three more pictures. The last one, I'm, I was shooting blind because I wanted to get lower. Who knows if that one's in focus, but uh, I really love this. It's completely different. It's a completely different mindset, and uh, right, I'm gonna get out of here because I'm getting bit by some mosquitoes, and uh, they have a dog somewhere over there that was growling when I walked, so I'm gonna get out of here. One thing that I'm finding that I do enjoy that I didn't expect, film photography is a lot slower paced, intentional in the way you shoot because you only get one picture and that's pretty much it. And that's something that uh, I, I don't have patience, so I didn't think that, I, th I thought that that was gonna be something that was gonna be a challenge for me, but it's actually something that I'm really enjoying and it might be the thing that I like the most. I think it's cool. Thank you.